Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with that 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. This is random team break number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So big, big thank you to all of these folks for rallying around this break, making it happen. Appreciate it. There are the teams right there. Rockies and Mariners are comboed, and the Rangers and Blue Jays are comboed. We also took out a few teams. I think we took out the Padres, Royals, and Tigers. We will randomize those three teams to one person at the end of the break, um, just in case there's any numbered cards or any inserts that we may send you for all of that. So let's randomize each list seven times, two and a five. Names and teams seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven times, we got Big Boys 007 down to Boombox in the last spot with the last spot mojo star. Two and a five, seven times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Cardinals on top and the Cubbies on the bottom. All right, there you go. Big Boys 007 with the Cardinals. TD, you got the O's. Eric with the Rockies and Mariners combo. Garrett with the Reds. TJ Poyer with the Phillies. Mark Green with the Angels. Ben Jackson with the Rays. Nice, Mark. Ben Jackson with the Rays. Braves for Big Boys 007. Jared with the Nats. Patrick K with the Astros. Jake, you got the Mets. Todd with the Twins. Eric with the Brew Crew. Rex with the Yankees. Connor with the Indians. Jared, you got my Dodgers. Arthur with the White Sox. Stephen K with the Marlins. Boombox with the Giants. John Samuelson with the Red Sox, Matthew with the Diamondbacks, Jacob Z with the A's, Kevin Hyatt with the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, Mark Green with the Rangers and Blue Jays combo spot, and Mark Glassman, two different Mark G's, with the Chicago Cubs. Let's sort by team. All right, Garrett has the Reds up for trade. Mark G. Mark Green saying, Joe, I'm never uh, breaking with anyone else. Well, you should. You got to try the rest to know who the best is, right? We got the Diamondbacks up for trade. Rays up for trade. Any uh, any offers for the Reds, Diamondbacks, or Rays? Diamondbacks up 3-1 on my Dodgers right now. Top of the... Oh! And Escobar poking through a single through the infield. Come on. <laughs> Jacob's going to try the old A's for Cubs deal. Actually, is that a fair deal? D-backs for Reds, maybe? What do you think about that, Matthew and Garrett? I feel like that's a that's a, like those teams would probably be around the same price in a figure team. Garrett, you good with that? Matthew seems good, and then we'll close the trade window. All right, confirmed. There you go. Good virtual handshake there, Matthew. Nice. Snakes for Reds confirmed. So, Garrett, you now have the Diamondbacks. Put a T there so you know you got that in a trade. And just so the people at home who's who are keeping score can see who draws first blood in the trade. <clears throat> if there's any blood to be drawn. <laughs> they, could go, they could both go hitless. Trade window closed. 
I hope not, but, you know, it's part of the game. It happens. All right. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everyone. Todd, Todd you might get some of that tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. You don't want to... You don't want to abandon your chances at the one per case Zach Granite, do you? No. No, you do not, Todd. All the David Bodie cards are hot right now. Are, is he even in this set? I'm not, I'm not wishing that to happen, Garrett. I'd rather I'd rather under promise and over deliver. All right. 12 boxes hobby edition. There you go. 8:30 on a Thursday. Not the time, the date. Break number 4 and there's everyone right there. Good luck everybody. All right, just so relax, settle in, boys and girls. A lot, a lot, of, lot of boxes to go, a lot of packs to rip. It's going to take a minute or two. I've got the Dodgers game up right now. Very important game between, very important series. I get the game's important. The, the series overall, very important. And it's pretty much this series and the and the and another series against the Dodgers or against the Diamondbacks at the end of September will pretty much, I think, settle the division. Final scores in the league. Angels beat the Astros 5-2. Uh, the Red Sox storm back, beat the White Sox 9-4 in Chicago. Cubbies won 5-4, beating the Braves in Atlanta. In St. Louis, Cardinals shut out the Pirates 5-0. Tigers beat the Yankees 8-7 in New York. In Cleveland... The Indians beat the Twins 5-3 in extra innings again for the second night in a row. The Brewers are on top for the second night in a row, 2-1. Very, very different score, though, today. 2-1 in 11. It's a final in Oakland. The Mariners beat the A's 7-1. The Rockies and the Padres are tied in San Diego, top of the 10th. And the top of the 8th. The, the Diamondbacks leading my Dodgers 3-1. to one. It Looks like Caleb Ferguson giving up two, two one-out singles. Looks like a mound, a mound visit. Has anyone seen a game where, where you know how there's like a restricted number of mound visits? Has anyone actually enforced that? I know at ballparks they'll have, they'll have like MV and they'll have the number there and it'll tick down. But I, I don't think I've ever seen a game yet where a catcher has gone over that mound visit, where a team has gone over that mound visit number and actually been punished for it or something like that. I guess I would have seen it all over the place on the interwebs. I don't think anyone's really challenged that. Oh, no Bodie in this. Have you seen in the minors, TJ? Like what? What do what, what? What do the umps do? Do they say? Does anyone get kicked out or anything like that? A stern warning? I don't know what the what the punishments are. All right, box number one. Remember, vet base doesn't ship, but obviously RCs will ship. If this was a refractor, that would ship. Inserts will ship, but some comments won't ship. There's Greg Allen. Greg Allen for the Indians. That'll go to Connor and the Tribe. So two autographs per box in the hobby edition. And the extra bonus in the hobby editions will be um, the orange parallels. So keep an eye out for orange parallels. Oh, come on, Dodgers. Base is loaded. So like this Mike Trout insert will ship. These freshman flashes will ship. These prisms will ship, even though they're not numbered. These will ship.
And oh, I almost missed it. Big to guarantee signed so low on that car. That goes to the Cubbies. That'll be for Mark Glassman. Last spot mojo strikes. Those are your two autos. Let's see if we have any other parallels here. We got Didi Gregorius to one fifty. And that is that for that box. And we'll make sure those are top loaded once the uh, before they get shipped out. All right, box two. All right, the the other Mark G. Well, technically Mark Green, the original. Oh, the OG Mark G. But then you guys have a spell your first names differently. I uh, I had I had a uh, I knew someone in college who spelled Mark with a C, and then there was a Mark with a K, and so we would call uh, we would call Mark with a C Mars. <laughs> It'd be Mars and Mark. That's how we that's how we told them apart. Maybe like so so Mark said well Mark or Mars well Mars said, <laughs> and that's a that's how we dif differentiate. I mean, technically, Mark, you, Mark C, <laughs> Mark with a C, you are the first Mark with a C. So you are the OG Mark G with a C. You're the OG Mark G with a C. Mark Glassman, original Mark Glassman, original Mark G. I don't know if anyone's ever called you Mars before, but we thought we were clever. All right, Dodgers have two outs, bases loaded. I don't know who this hitter is. Probably someone I wouldn't want to face in this situation. I don't want Caleb Ferguson to face in this situation. Delivers a strike to Christian Walker. Bases loaded, two outs, top of the eighth. Dodgers, Dodgers cannot give up runs here. Or else it's going to be... This is not, not going to be good. Swings at a high 96 mile per hour strike. 0 oh, 2 the count. Come on, Caleb Ferguson. Otherwise, I'm going to hear it from Joe P and Arthur all night and all day until, until the game starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's mostly about that. Pops it up. And what do we got here? We got we got th this already. Nice orange Victor Robles, rookie medallion. I've not seen an autograph one yet out of any of our cases. That's our next sort of. I'd like to check that off the old bingo card. That goes to Jared Perkins in the Nats. That's two out of twenty-five. Nice. These are one per case. We'll save some of these Otanis for for Mark Green. Mars. Oh man, Mars. What if we find a Well, let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just keep it cool. Keep it cool. Cole Hamels just a refractor that will ship. And we've got Alex Mejia, the first autograph out of this box for the Redbirds. Cardinals, big boys, 007 with the cards. Still 0-2. Walker's been fouling him off. Oh, come on. Oh, right to Puig. Nice. 
All right, so the Dodgers get out of a scary part of the inning. Now let's see if they can actually put some runs on the Diamondbacks' bullpen. There's Anthony Rizzo to 299. So that Aaron Judge will ship. And we got Roddy Reed for Jared Perkins. So a couple Nationals hits in this box. He is at the real Roddy Reed, as opposed to the fake ones that are all out there, out of 499. We got a Jose Quintana, 17 out of 50. Nice one for uh, Boombox and the Cubs. Nice gold wave action there. All right, another nice box in the book. So far, so good. Let's keep it going. So just the just the West Coast games, that Rockies Padres games on MLB Network, that's still happening. And the bottom of the bottom of the tenth now. I think we were some people some people were telling me about some moves that happened today. One of them being um, Yankees to acquire Andrew McCutcheon is one of the deals here on the 30th of August. He's still, still on the West Coast, still, still the 30th. Yeah, the Yankees and Giants have struck a trade that would send, this is according to MLBTradeRumors.com, Yankees and Giants have struck a trade that would send veteran outfielder Andrew McCutcheon to New York per ESPN's Buster Only. Joel Sherman of the New York Post, who first reported that an agreement is close, says that if finalized, the deal will send two prospects, including young infielder Abital Avellino, would head to San Francisco. So McCutcheon cleared waivers. He dealt without restrictions. So yeah, as someone as someone said earlier, that must mean that that, Andrew, uh, that Aaron Judge must be that injury must be lingering a bit longer than than he thought. Is there other, any other big moves that are happening? I don't think so. Oh, Philly's got Jose Bautista. That could be interesting. Padres promote Luis Urias. Braves getting Lucas Duda and Rene Rivera. Astros extended AJ Hinch today. All right, next box. Another show, eh? I'm sure all those Otanis add up. There's Aaron Judge right there. Oh, there's the autograph. Alex Verdugo. For my Dodgers, that'll go to Jared Perkins. Maybe Verdugo as a September call-up. Jared could help spark some offense from the Dodgers. For the Dodgers. Doogie, 11. Chris Bryant, nice green wave, 40 out of 99. The first batter already popped it up. Come on. And Hunter Wood, Orange Auto. Yeah, they need Alex Verdugo, Joe P. 21 out of 25, Hunter Wood for the Rays. That goes to Ben Jackson, who was trying to trade the Rays. A little tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. All 
All right, Justin Turner still wants the game to keep going. Justin Turner gets a single through the right side. Greg Allen had a 299. Don't worry, Joe P. <laughs> the Dodgers don't like to hit, don't, don't like to move runners over or anything like that. And if they're in, if he, if Justin Turner gets in scoring position, definitely does not. They do not want. They they actually practice it, Joe P. Not hitting with runners in scoring position. <laughs> it's as if they. It's almost as if they practice. It seems like it. All right. Next box. So Machado is up. Manny Machado's up. Justin Turner's on first. One out. Bottom of the eighth inning. So they've got this half of the frame and just one more, and that's it. But this is the meaty part of the lineup. This is where they want to do it. If they don't, not really feeling uh, not really feeling it. I don't know if the Dodgers are going to win this one. That was a little inside. Um, come on now. Well, 0 and 2 the count now. And is it fair? Wow. Machado rips it down the left field line. Justin Turner hustles into third. We got men on the corners with one out. Nice job, Manny Machado. Yeah, that's it. He is the offense tonight, Joe P. Boombox saying Top needs to make a breakers version of this with all the hits, variations, and one gold pack. And all the base in a few 100 cart packs. That would be nice. That's the jumbo edition. The jumbo edition. The hobby edition's a little rough, case breaking. It's got nice stuff in here, but. You know. The harder the squeeze, the sweeter the juice. Boombox. That's how I'd like to see it. it takes a little more work. Now I'm going to find some Yankees for Rex. Dodgers have to find some runs, Rex. How about that? Nice. The the ball girl or ball boy or whatever in shallow outfield got out of the way really nicely. Oh, my MLB wager tonight were terrible, Tito Jackson. They're terrible, Ben. I I thought I looked smart with the uh, with the Cubs. I, I was. They won. At the Cubs at plus one 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 fifteen. I took a shot on the uh, White Sox at plus one seventy today. They were leading the Red Sox for like three quarters of the game, but then they did White Sox things and gave up a million runs in the eighth and ninth inning, and they lost 9-4. And Dodgers at minus 138. That was kind of a homer pick, though. There was a little value there, but that was definitely more of a homer pick. And that's it, just those three tonight. So if I go two and the Dodgers win, I go two and three, that'll be a nice night. Dodgers W, this guy doing work. This guy, hopefully feeling better. It'd be nice. But then again, the Dodgers do have runners in scoring position. They don't like to they don't like to score when that happens. Ooh, that's a little outside. Um, come on. Matt Kemp up to bat. Owen won the count. One out, men on first and second, or first and third. And there's Miguel Andujar. There's some Yankees, Rex. 36 out of 75, blue wave, Miguel Andujar. That's pretty nice. All, all, all Kemp needs to do is not do the old ground into the double play, the inning-ending double play. That would be the worst. Redemption coming up. Any guesses on the redemption, ladies and gentlemen? Chance Cisco, maybe? He's a pretty common one. All right, one and one. Kemp's been struggling mightily from the All Star break on. Oh, he didn't go around. Another Yankee for Rex. 
There it is. There are those Yankees Rex. Giovanni Gallegos, 85 out of 150. Ben's guessing, uh, Jackson is guessing Willie Adams. Oh, yeah, he is. I think he is a redemption for the Rays, right? All right, two and one the count. Oh, I did, double play would be the worst. Oh, was it a double play? Come on, Matt. I think you guys are ahead of me. Oh. <laughs> the old inning ending double play, the one thing I didn't want Kemp, Matt Kemp to do. I could he can fly out. He can he, he I don't know, he can, he can do anything except for that. What you did. Beyond Buster Posey, season is done. We'll be back next year. I know I did call. See, I told you, Joe P. We practiced that. Dodgers practiced that. Not not moving runners in scoring position. Rookie autograph. Matt Kemp practices it the most. Rookie autograph of F. F. Shohei doesn't start with F. R. E. A. N. Francisco Mejia. This is still Indian edition. Connor with that one. One thing I didn't want Matt Kemp to do. That's it. That was the meat of the lineup. Yeah, there there was definitely <laughs> definitely some some steam coming out of the side of my head. God damn it, Matt Kemp. All right, well, the Dodgers have to attempt to not give up any more runs. And then, uh, what, do you guys, oh, and, and then try to score two runs off of Brad Boxberger? Well, don't F it up, Dylan Floro. I'd be happy with a split in this four-game series. Oh, Steven Sousa Jr., A.J. Pollock, and Goldie up. I don't like that one bit. All I need to do is I need the Dodgers to just split this series, and then and then we can go swimming in Arizona at the end of September. That's it. And they just need to keep it close. Well, if anybody gets on Peralta, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see that part of the lineup at all. <laughs> this is the wrong part of the lineup to see in the top of the ninth. Is that game still going on? That Rockies Padres game? All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. This guy, that guy. There's Otani. This guy's raking right now. This is a pretty tough part of the lineup. There's Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. Stephen K with the Marlins. This guy's tomorrow, you guys? Joe and Arthur, is that guy tomorrow? I don't want to see that guy tomorrow. All right, 
Right to Bellinger. Good. That's an out. And we got Felix Jorge for the Twins. Todd tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. $3.99 out of $4.99. Refractor Auto for Todd. And the Twins, the Twinkies. This guy has our number. You guy, <laughs> guy has our number. Oh, look at this. Second to last card. 12 out of 25, Orange Otani. That's a nice Jaspi orange right there, too. What does that go? Someone look this up. What does this go for? A couple hundred bucks? Twelve out of twenty-five. Nice one for Mark Green with the on hells. That's nice. I'm serious. That might go for a. I'm, I think. I don't know. Someone look up that price. Oh, fifty. <laughs> Joe Pizza is fifty. No, oh, it's got to go for at least a hundred dollars, right? An orange. No one likes those oranges? All right, maybe I got a little too excited, but still, that'll probably, that covers the spot, right? That's got to at least cover the spot. One's on eBay for five, well, it's not going to go for 500. Actually, this might be a good candidate to have graded. If it grades out nicely, that might, that might actually increase the value pretty significantly. What one sold for three fifty? Sold for three fifty? That's a lot higher than I thought it would be. Garrett saying another one sold for three thirty five. All right, so that covers the spot, Mark Green. It kind of covers the spot, and then some. Does that cover the brakes for your night? I cover the brakes for your night. <laughs> Sorry, Rex. Not the Yankees version of. You're thinking of Tanaka. They don't. They look completely different. Rex, come on now. Might be. Might be a good candidate to have graded. I would take. I, I would take the trouble to do that. That'd be. Especially if you don't have anything graded in your collection. Add that. All right. This is the second to last card in that pack, too. There we go. Nice. We'll save it right there just to show it off. All right. Next box. We're just about halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. We've got about another half hour to go. And the Dodgers only have three outs to go. If they want to try to get back into this. Where, where's Brad Boxberger? 95 out of 99, Jose Ramirez. There's Andrew Chafin is, is up there. Oh, there's Boxberger. Jose Ramirez goes to Connor in the tribe. So get Chafin up there if there's any trouble. Throw out the Boxberger. Yeah, is that is that are they selling that uniform, Joe P? He did have a great players weekend uniform, Brad Boxberger, a box emoji and a burger emoji. There's Brandon Woodruff. 
That'll go to the Brew Crew. That'll be for Eric Rittenhouse. Come on, Bellinger. Jonathan Kent is here. He's saying 405 on August 10th, 355, 14th, 309 most recently on the 29th. And there's future big sexy Reyes Moronta for the Giants. Boombox with that one. Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. Adam Jones. Yeah, that's what I suggested too, Joe P. I thought I think maybe grading that Otani wouldn't be a bad idea. No, that would definitely be worth. We had a we had a conversation the other night about grading, about. You know, what cars to grade, what happens there. Joe P, you got to wait 30 seconds before you say anything. I think I'm like literally like 20 seconds behind you. It's still two and two. And Bellinger goes down. Actually, no, we're not that, actually not that much of a difference. 10 seconds, 15 seconds maybe. All right, and then the box burger. So Chafin was just for, was just for uh, Bellinger. Um, yeah, Mark, Mark Green got it, Joe P. So he's the one that got it. Um, yeah, Joe's, Joe's right. I think generally speaking, uh, Beckett tends to be, B, Beckett Grading Services, BGS tends to be what everyone uses for, um, for modern cards, like cards in the last, like, I don't know, 15 years or something like that tends to go, tends to go Beckett. And I think anything older than 2000-ish maybe. People start to use a PSA. You know, so I think when you start looking at like, I don't know, there, there's kind of like an overlap, but you can you can see some um, Derek Jeters from like rookies from the early 90s go for like, start, you can see them in PSAs. Sometimes I see them in Beckett, but that's generally how it goes. Yes, you can still do PSA for newer cards, and some people prefer prefer PSA just for their own personal reasons. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can still do modern cards there, but yeah, right. The PSA does not do subgrades like the, they don't do like corners nine five and like surface ten and blah, blah blah. So I think that's why people like the Beckett for the newer cards a little bit better. No, Boombox says screw it. Hook the card up to the bike so it makes noise hitting the spokes. Post the video, make everyone salty. Oh man! <laughs> Nick Jaspi and I have actually thought of doing like fun parody videos like that, where we would take like a, a Chris Bryant superfractor, right? Picture, right? And then and then like print out a really nice quality and put it on a card, and then like and then like uh, pretend like we're doing a break, and then we accidentally drop it or bend the corner or something something like that. Some sort of hobby-related prank video. We haven't gone around to it yet. We've been too busy. There's Ozzy Albius out of 150. There's Otani again. And there's Tomas Nito for the Mets. That'll be for Jake.
And we'll just might as well show you the next autograph sitting right there, Victor Robles. So there's our two autographs right there. Yeah, and 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 uh, Jonathan Kent saying that for Chrome, especially autos, Beckett is best because they sleeve prior to slabbing, which protects the card. Oh, come on, Chris Taylor. That's a good pitch, though. What are you going to do there? Inside, low inside corner. You can't swing at that. I mean, you could, I guess, but same, it would be the same result. And then we got Masahiro Tanaka, 4 out of 99. Watch Yasiel Puig do something worthless, like hit a solo home run. Without Chris Taylor uh, on, <laughs> without Chris Taylor on base, that'd be a very Dodgersy thing to do. At least Dodgers two thousand eighteen Dodgers. Go ahead, Yasiel Puig, hit a solo home run. We'll leave this Otani out. We can keep showing it off. Or a double almost down the line. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Joe P, is that what he did? Be perfect. Oof. Well, Chris Taylor was do so dominant last year. Well, that's the problem, I think, with this season is that, l let's be honest here, Chris Taylor kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, you can't just look at that. you got to take the bat off the shoulders, Mr. Puig. Anyway, um, I think that's the problem with the Dodgers this year is that yeah, they counted on, on, on guys that kind of – Came out of nowhere. There's Chris Taylor. Okay. Boom. There's Chris Taylor. Came out of nowhere and was raking. And, but there's a reason why, you know, he was, there's a reason why he was kind of buried in the minor league system for the Mariners and didn't really, you know, wasn't really going to break through their organization anytime soon. Blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah. One hit wonder. And so, like, you're expecting. I mean, are the Dodgers really counting on Chris Taylor to some, suddenly be like, oh, we found a guy that's going to hit 300 and, you know, a dozen home runs and steal a dozen bases and stuff like that? Like, suddenly we found that guy? I mean, it's certainly possible, but the probability of that wasn't very high. If someone if someone told me put a bet on, on whether Chris Taylor would repeat what he did last season, I would be like, no. And the Dodgers had to rely on Matt Kemp to like surprise and come out of nowhere. But I think the Dodgers really, the, the issue was they didn't really make the moves they wanted to make, I think, because they're trying to get under the luxury tax. That was like the big deal for them this season. There's Andrew Stevenson for Jared Perkins and the Nats. Right. Well, thankfully, I won't be hearing the post-game show. Dodgers talk on AM 570. KLAC. 
That'll be a nightmare. Post-game shows are the worst. Let's go to let's go to Steve in Sherman Oaks. Yeah, um, I mean, this is just just terrible managing by Dave Roberts. You know, like, you gotta go you gotta go lefty righty matchups, and like they think they, it's like, oh, you can have an opinion, but don't start breaking down the game like you thought you could have done a better job in the as a manager. <laughs> There's Manny Machado out of two ninety nine, and Kyle Farmer. He'll be called up. I've heard some crazy stuff where it's just like, you know, it's like, well, we just got to fire Dave Roberts right now. I was like, what? Fire Dave Roberts in the in like August, <laughs> September? That's probably not the best time to do that. Well, why can't we just go get, you know, we'll just trade for Brad Boxberger, and and we're like, oh yeah, like Diamondbacks are gonna give him up. Well, we just got to trade for Max Scherzer. That's what we got to do. Okay. All right. Um, I, Andrew Tolls should be a September call-up too. Kyle Farmer should be called up. Andrew Tolls will be called up. I think DJ Peters might get called up. Julio Urias, I think maybe in a couple more weeks. I think they're trying to trying to, trying to stretch him out a little bit in rehab starts. He'll probably get called up. A few more other arms. I think a couple a couple Dodgers bullpen guys are on the DL, like Josh Fields and whatnot. So Verdugo will probably get called up once rosters expand because. Uh, because it's just not, um, I mean, the Dodgers offense is, isn't really producing with runners in scoring position that, that Matt Kemp was the best, that Matt Kemp at bat was the best chance for the Dodgers to maybe score some runs right there. But I mean, you can't ground to that double play. That's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> literally, quite literally the last thing that you want to do. That just kills a rally. You know, Justin Turner gets on, you know. Machado has a good at bat, gets the double. You know, at this point, Diamondbacks aren't scared of Matt Kemp. They're they're looking for that GIDP. All right. Well, I, well, that's the joke, Rex. The joke is that the guy, the guys in those call-in shows, Arthur and I were talking about the other night. I was like, "How bad is it in Arizona?" It's like, "Oh, it's the same." You got crazy Diamondbacks fans being being like, "We just got to blow up the team." I mean, Robbie Ray's just done. Got to get rid of him. Got to trade him. It's like, oh, okay. And so, yeah, it's like the same with same same with like I'm sure Cubs radio is is just as terrible as well. Call-in shows, the post-game call-in show. You know, let's go to Frank and Rosemont. Yeah, uh, Joe Madden and his laptop just need to go away. You know, we Joe, that, that lineup the lineups just aren't working. You got to move Jason Hayward up to the top of the lineup. Have him bat second. But just Joe Madden and his and, and his laptop and his stats just aren't working. He's got to go. No, no. All right. It'll be like twenty-five teams that'll that'll line up so fast <laughs> to hire Joe Madden. Well, that's why they're fans, right? Fanatics, crazies. Come on, Chris Taylor. Look at that. He he hit. Look at that. He had 288 last year, 21 homers, 72 RBIs, 17 stolen bases. He's not going to do that again. 
A nice Ryan McMahon for the Rockies. Nice blue wave for the Rock. Who has the Rocks in this one? That's Eric with the Rockies Mariners combo. 79 out of 150. Very nice. It's got a nice autograph. I, I root for the guys with nice autographs, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Hayward leaves the game injured. We got to trade him. Injury prone. Got to trade him. It's the worst. I actually hate listening to the to the post game show. The only reason why I listen to it, the Dodgers have a pretty decent post game show and they'll they'll have like the analysts from the TV network come on and talk and There's a Ronald Adetta for the Rangers Blue Jays combo. Mark Green with that one. And there's Scott Carey out of 299. Mike Sosha actually might be done, Mark. Are, are you in Southern California? I don't know. Who, what, who's, your, who's your baseball team, Mark Green? But so, I didn't realize. I kind of blinked. Sosha has been managing for so long. Oh, Angels, but you're in Japan now? What are you doing out there? How what time is it in Japan? Is everyone, like, in love with this guy? Out in Japan? All right, Big Boys 007. Oh, right, the old Air Force. Fighting the good fight for us. Thank you. He's like Elvis out there. I would imagine. You Darvish was a rock star there for a little while. He still might be. I think he was, he was like dating like a Japanese pop star or a really famous Japanese actress or something like that. He still might he still might be married to this person, but I think I think tabloids love that. I know in uh in like Hyunjin Ru's rookie year, I'm Korean. Hyunjin Ru's rookie year, I know Korea. Um, I know his rookie year that they, they, they were they, they were playing his starts. Like in in the middle of like a town square or something like that, and there'd be a big big screen out there that'd be be crowded. I remember uh, even down here in Southern California, every once in a while, I'd end up at like a I'll go to like a Korean barbecue place with my parents or something like that. And on some random Sunday, like Hyunjin Ru would be on on all the TVs in the in the barbecue place, and all heads turned towards the television. Big Boys Level 7 needs a Ronald Cunha Jr. Try to find him. We we saw a few of them recently. a couple people I was gonna say I think we have another we have a, we, another friend uh, of Jaspi's Hobbyland his name is Dan we haven't seen him in a minute or two but he's he's not Air Force he must be like whoever stationed in uh, Okinawa there's a big base down there he's he was in Okinawa I think is the hours of his job or whatever he's doing had changed so he doesn't have a chance to break with us as often All right, three boxes go. One, two, and three. Thanks for hanging those boys and girls. Uh, this is most likely. I don't think there's any other. I don't think we're gonna break anything else after this. So we're probably gonna call it a night after this one, boys and girls. But we're back tomorrow, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern, to do this craziness all over again. Try to 
Chase some hits. 59-75. Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford going to the Giants. That'll be for Mark Glassman. Oh, you're in Okinawa? <laughs> Watch, he's like your CEO. It's like, oh yeah, that's that's my commanding officer. Dan Oriel, I think. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, but there's JD Davis. I know how to pronounce that. Patrick K with Jid Davis. Nice one for the Strohs. And we've got Zach Granite. I told you, Todd. The one per case, Zach Granite. Guaranteed. He was trying to trade the Twins away. You would have missed out on Felix Jorge. And you, we would have missed out on the one per case, Zach Granite. I feel like we des deserve to see the Zach Granite Super Factor by now. Come on, Zach Granite Super. All right, you get Zach Granite negative. Robbie Ray. All right. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're almost there. Almost there. Stay on tar stay on target. Almost there. Four more autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. How rare are those negatives? One out of every 53 packs. Right there where my thumb is. One out of every 53 packs. So uh, relatively short printed. All right, 53 packs. 24 packs a box. So one every other box, I guess. So you'd see maybe like six, five or six in each hobby case. Yeah, they're not super uncommon, but they're not common either. Oh, you got from one from a consolation pack from one of our spot randoms. Yeah. I mean, obviously, depending on the player, you know, if it's like Otani, I'm sure it'll do very nicely. I don't know about, I don't know how Zach, how well Zach Granite is going to do, but no offense to Zach Granite if you're watching, Zach. No offense to you, man. But, you know, compared to Otani, you're not moving the hobby needle, Zach. Got a nice autograph, though, Zach. Zach Granite. Yeah, so I guess it's... Uh, you got the base cards, the parallels, refractors, one out of three, prism, one out of six, the negatives, one out of 53, and then the numbered cards, the purple, blue, greens. So I guess the negatives are the shortest printed... The shortest printed of the... Um, the short print, print it, shortest printed of the non-serial numbered cards. Does that make sense? John Samuelson. It was a negative. R. Joshua Dobbs negative. I mean, that would go for a million dollars. David, no. All, all right. Got the Lakers in encased for two cents. Nice. Thanks, man. We'll work on that tomorrow. All right. Good night, sir. Good, good breaking for you today. Sorry about that. I wonder. I wonder what our Joshua Dobbs is doing right now. Oh, I guess he's still a football player. I wanted to build rockets. Like, hurry up and build rockets. 
I work on spaceships with, with Musk. Our modern day Wizard of Oz. Elon Musk. We got Brian Dozier out of 150. <laughs> Jinx. If you if you talk first, John Samuelson, you owe me a Coca Cola. There's Otani. What were your what were your Jinx rules? That was my Jinx rule. There's Cole Hamels, Rangers edition, orange. Sixteen out of twenty five for the Rangers. Mark Green, nice. Couple oranges for you today, Mark. Orange Otani, orange Cole Hamels. Getting some of that Jaspi orange magic. Sixteen out of twenty five. I wish that was plus one. And then you put that right here, and that'd be his jersey number. If only it was that easy. Oh, you're in this break, huh? <laughs> Red Sox, okay. Red Sox, oh. How about a Felix Jorge? Another Felix Jorge for Todd. Is Todd even here? Todd, wake up. You're missing all of your Felix Jorge's and your uh, and your Zach Granitz. No offense to Zach Granite. Oh, a redemption. All right, any guesses on that redemption coming up, boys and girls? Chance Cisco, perhaps? Raphael Devers might be a redemption. Otani Parallels are redemptions. But then again, Chan Sisko also a redemption for the Orioles. That would make that would make T D happy. He hasn't he doesn't have anything in this one yet. Alright. Here we go. Good luck. Behind AJ Mintner, someone is due to receive a rookie autograph refractor parallel of W W? Walker Bueller? A. Wally Pip? Walk, Walker Bueller, Wally Pib. That goes to my Dodgers, Jared Perkins with the Dodgers. Nice future Dodger ace. I think his base autos are live, but his his parallels are also also redemptions. I guess he just didn't have time. Just ran out of time. All right, last box coming up, boys and girls. Good luck, everybody. Hey, I got a question for you guys in this last box right here. Random question. When you're playing a flag football and you and you assign how many seconds you have before you can blitz the quarterback, what would you use? What what word would you use? Would you use alligators? Mississippis? Or thousands? Or something else? So would you go one one thousand, two one thousand, or do you go one Mississippi, two Mississippi? Or would you go one alligator, two alligator, alligators? I used alligators. It was alligators or Mississippis. So it would be like, all right, well, you're playing like touch football or flag football or something like that. And you'd be like, all right, it would be like, Five alligators, then you can rush the quarterback. So John Samuelson's a thousand guy. He's a one one thousand, two one thousand. All right. What about ever, anyone else? Is that it? The Padres win? Yeah, they did. Walk. Padres just walked it off. T 
Tito Jackson says he was a Mississippi guy. That was a huge hit. Who, who was that? Todd would use one electrode nephilographically, phalographically, electroents phalographically, two electrophalons graphically, three. That would be much longer than any alligator in Mississippi that I know of. All right, last box, last two autographs, maybe some more orange parallels. Let's do it. Thanks for hanging with me through the break, folks. Appreciate it. Good luck. Oh, another redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? I'll give you one guess, ladies and gentlemen. And if you get it, the first person to guess the redemption, I'll, I'll give them $5 a break credit. Tanner Scott. But don't do like a million guesses. That's not fun. All right. Oh, we got all different ones. Good. John Samuelson is the first one to say Raphael Devers. Tito Jackson, first person to say Willie Adams. Todd Reardon, first person to say Chance Disco. So Rex, you got to pick something else. Mark G, first person to say Otani. Arthur, first person to say Mejia. Francisco Mejia. Uh, it's Chance Disco already taken. Rex and uh, Rex and Harley Dog, 1904. Matthew Bond, Ocuna, that's a good guess. Chris Bryant, that's a good guess. Uh, Boombox has the longest word in the dictionary, Todd. In, in, in Boombox's dictionary, it's pneumo... pneumo... I can't even say Numo Ultra Microscopicelia Volcano is Conasi. What what does that even mean? What is that? Is that a disease? Um, Acuna has already been said by Matthew Bodner. Albius is Nisa. If Rashad Penny comes out of here, Garrett, I'll give you twenty dollars of break credit. If that's Rashad Penny, Bryce Harper, he says. Oh, it's a lung disease contracted from inhalation of very fine silica particles, specifically from a volcano? Like, well, who gets that? Who gets that disease? Like, people who work inside volcanoes without, like, any sort of protective gear? Yeah, I've been working around volcanoes a lot. That's how I ended up, <laughs> that's how I ended up with this, working around volcanoes. I knew it would get to me someday. Yeah, but my grandfather worked in a volcano. His grandfather worked from a volcano. <laughs> oh, is it finally him? It's Chance Cisco. The first person to guess Ch Chance Cisco was Todd Reardon. Five dollars of break credit coming your way for the guessing of this to Todd. just so I don't stiff you for $5. <laughs> there you go, folks. That goes to the Orioles TD with an autograph at the very, very end. Thanks, man. Thanks for getting into the breaks, everybody. We had a great... It started slow today, but really picked up in the middle of the show and, and the last half of the show, so I appreciate it. We had um, some nice activity in the chat, so thanks for hanging, me with, hanging out with me through this long break. We all got to witness. We were all witnesses to this. That was very cool. So thanks, everyone, and, and witnesses to this, of course. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow night. We'll see you tomorrow, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll have a nice Friday. We'll have a Saturday. We'll break some stuff, pull some nice stuff. That's what we do. We'll see you next time, jazbeeshobbyland.com. <laughs>